Hello my dear Aries, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between June 1st and June 15, 2018 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. I read for the signs in order of most liked videos so don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and show the love. I have put the astrological information for the month of June in a video of its own that you can check out in my playlist Q&A. You can also find it at my webpage www.queenofcupstarot.se The reading can go both ways. The message is for the people who watch it, so if you cross-watch for another sign and recognize yourself as the main person of the reading, just trust your own intuition and you will get the message you need. I have added a new deck to my general readings that I have used successfully for my private clients for long periods. The lovely Asha Sen I will use for the more spiritual mid-month readings. The new deck is the Druid Craft Tarot by Philip and Stephanie Cargom, illustrated by Will Worthington. And I will start shuffling your cards. So my dear Aries, when I open the deck here I see Two of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so, uh, the first impression I get is that someone out of self-love have put a very firm boundaries. The Two of Wands is um, it's kind of a power symbol. Uh, it's um, a person having self-control, uh, being able to say no and steer their ship in the right direction with a firm hand. Uh, it might also be that there's a Queen of Pentacles, uh, um, a Virgo. Uh, a Taurus or Capricorn in your life that has put uh, put up a boundary towards you but um, the, for the most part this will be about self-love because the Queen of Pentacles is um, she don't have any walls okay she's very abundant she gives uh, gives it away it's like nature it spreads its seeds everywhere it doesn't really uh, bother where the seeds, seeds end up it just spreads with the wind so uh, and that's a very beautiful quality and a very abundant quality uh, but this um, last year's 2017-2018 um, has been about this process uh, to end delusions about that you are living in a fairy tale <laughs> and just something is it's something that's a problem and you need to solve it but when that problem is solved the fairy tale is going to be there but here um, and the 2018 it's about growing up uh, becoming an adult person so this is a part of the process where a person that has given it all to make things happen actually just might have spoiled uh, their surrounding or um, or or given so much that no one respects them so this is about uh, ending illusions and growing up, putting boundaries, starting to love yourself enough to not uh, be a doormat. So it's kind of that. Okay. So uh, I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the four of wands with the queen of pentacles. So it kind of just strengthens what I just said. The four of wands is uh, self-love. <laughs> and... Uh, so it's kind of the Queen of Pentacles and Two of Wands combined. And it's about building a new platform for yourself. A very, uh, both these cards is about being solid, like stubborn. Uh, the earth signs are very stubborn. Uh, so it's about standing your ground, standing firm your ground and aligning with yourself. These uh, are aligned around the fire, so aligned around your soul, uh, your actions and um, directions is aligned around your soul uh, that means if your soul wants uh, something you aim towards it you don't say well that's hopeless or i can't get what i want or that person will never listen or whatever you fix it for yourself uh, for once is also a card about weddings and celebrations uh, building houses uh, getting a new house, uh, like building a new foundation for yourself, a new safe haven for your future. And the Queen of Pentacles is kind of a wife. So some of you uh, have um, first and foremost probably gone through an alchemic wedding. So that means you have uh, started to love yourself as the way you are. And that means that different soul parts of you come together. They are not longer in conflict because you are aligned around the fire, all your different soul parts. Uh, and, and you trust yourself and you love yourself. So that's the alchemic wedding. You take home lost soul parts and things with you that you have kept in the shadow. Uh, but they can also, uh, and because of this, you are going to 
attract much um, better, more stable things in your life because you are more stable, self-loving and nurturing towards yourself. So also universe is going to be uh, this towards you. So some of you might be have chosen a wife for yourself or a husband also. <laughs> but um, shows, uh, I say chosen because the two of wands is also choices. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, six of cups. Okay, so uh, for some of you, there will be a reconciliation and maybe a, a proposal of some sort. Maybe uh, someone will, um, maybe you wanted to move to the next level in a relationship and uh, uh, <laughs> your counterpart didn't uh, want this, maybe didn't want to commit and now it might come in a proposal of engagement it's not going to happen for a, any areas and it's it can also be like this is what you want this is your boundary if there's no uh, like a ring on your finger with this <laughs> this fire here the sto stones uh, you are not going to c continue but um, with the six of cups it's reconciliation you still love a person from the past maybe but you want things to be more stable and kind of um, meet your own standard uh, like um, you don't want to be in a situation that causes you to uh, feel disrespect for yourself okay so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the wheel so the wheel is kind of the four corners uh, the wheel is um, is a year it's something that goes circular it can be how we come back to our um, <laughs> like Saturn return or whatever planets moving in this it's also karma uh, if something happened when the planets were in a specific um, place in the sky and uh, uh, something was like happening that was make, making a mark so when the planet is in the same location again it will be downloaded the same kind of drama uh, so you will have to solve it or see it from the other perspective maybe first you um, you did something and now it is done to you but uh, I'm thinking here uh, it's the wheel of fortune so it can also be miracles happening because uh, uh, what you send out or the seeds that you plant they will come back with something it's also always like this like when you uh, when you do an action there will come a counter reaction so uh, it's like the dice is uh, <laughs> rolled <laughs> someone has rolled the dice and it's going to come back with with something and the wheel is a situation where we kind of don't have control. It's the divine steering the ship. So it's about synchronicity, destiny, karma, a lot of drama. It's like a lot of drama scenes that the divine puts up and synchronicity puts up. So you can relive uh, your karmic situation again and again and again and again until you have solved it. So it might mean that things will come back in uh, kind of the same way that they have done before. But you are much better equipped to solve this situation now. So, uh, I call the six elements, oh, five of wands, yes, uh, there might be like a person um, or the situation that wants to come back is still what they were before, it's just they have changed a little and you might have changed a lot and um, so it's still going to be some kind of clash but uh, it's like a test we can say see if you can uh, handle this better this time or handle like yourself with better care uh, so uh, six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear aries viewers so i want my dear aries to have love in their lives and to find themselves in love Loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Five of Swords also wants to show its face. So, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, that's the masculine fives. So, it's about conflict, competition. Uh, the Fool and the World card also. So, the Fool is a new journey, the world is an end of a journey. So it's like you're going full circle with something and uh, um, you are supposed to go into this situation with enthusiasm, even if it's like the same old, same old, uh, because um, this is your life mission. So don't be grumpy if something is uh, coming again and again. It's not here to annoy you. It's here. So again and again and again. So you will be able to try different things. Don't try the same thing that you tried before. 
that's <laughs> someone said that this is the is the sign of insanity to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result okay so i will tune in for a few seconds uh, to you aries and your energy Okay, so my dear Aries, this is your future there and this is your now there and this is the past. So in the past we have the hangman, so you might have been waiting for, for something to solve and uh, uh, you, have been, you might have been hanging in limbo a little bit, things not going the way you planned. Uh, but this is actually, this hold up is for you to... Um, kind of uh, perfect yourself uh, uh, in a way it's um, when you are put in a situation that is not what you want you are going to have a lot of difficult feelings and when they rise to surface and you deal with them it's like you master yourself you become a master of self uh, so the hangman is an illumination situation uh, where you learn a lot of things so even if uh, life has felt like a drag you have actually uh, read uh, your own book of knowledge during this time and the hangman usually ends with um, it's like we don't want to do something okay the, the divine is dragging us along and we kind of refuse to we don't want to go down this road it's boring it's awful or it's uh, uh, dangerous <laughs> and in the end we will have to do a sacrifice uh, then the death comes number 13 so it's about uh, making a sacrifice and free yourself from this uh, hanged man uh, situation. So it can be, for example, to uh, give up the resistance towards your pain and embrace it. Or it can be giving up that relationship that didn't work out anyway. Or uh, maybe give up uh, a career that really didn't work for you because it wasn't your highest purpose here on earth. Uh, so it can be a lot of different things. Uh, probably you have fought against this your whole life you didn't want to do it and and um, but here it's like you're being held in a back alley <laughs> until you uh, agree to doing it and then you will be let free again so it's about great spiritual sacrifices and and that will free a lot of energy because it was probably what made you end up in this karma in the first place that you refused to do something that you were asked uh, from the divine to do uh, that was probably your mission and when the mission isn't completed you will have to do it again and again and again so 10 then we have 11 justice when things balance out and 12 uh, the hangman situation where you kind of go through like a maturity right or um, a passage uh, a rite of passage and then death when sacrifice comes so um, it's a supportive card because it's like a birth uh, one plus two is three it's the empress card so it's like the holy mother just wants you to um, to grow as an embryo until you are able to be born and you are going to be born with the sacrifice here luckily we are kind of jumping over the death card and ending up in the 14 the ferult uh, so the ferult is when new water streams in where the old water was sacrificed uh, so it's like this new freshness it's like meeting a new culture or a new lover uh, or understanding something in a brand new way changing totally it's like something has happened you have had this eureka moment and something shifted inside of you uh, the 14 is also connected to all the fives uh, the five of swords and the five of wands that we saw because when we meet a new culture we are not going to have the same language or the same anything so the new culture can be the boy down the street okay uh, even in the same family we can have very different ways of communicating and uh, explaining ourselves or different dreams different perspective different moral values everything so it doesn't have to be someone from another country it can be the same like your brother or sister or a lover or a child uh, someone that has different ideas than do you and therefore you end up in a conflicting situation this is the second card for love in the major arcana so it's um, uh, it's the alchemic wedding 
when we meet uh, uh, someone that holds the key to what we need to become. Uh, so we are supposed to be ourselves and then also uh, learn this what the other person knows. And it actually usually uh, just reflects something that we already have inside, but we might have it in our shadow. So and we don't like our shadow. So we won't like everything that this person or this situation does to us. Uh, so we are going to uh, to react and, and fight against it. Uh, but eventually, if you have a really difficult person in your life, uh, try to figure out what it is that you are supposed to learn from this person. If it's a, a person that's um, uh, extremely well uh, organized until <laughs> you get really tired of them, it might mean that you, if you organize yourself a little bit better, you will accomplish more. If it's a person that's uh, not never taking responsibility, it might be that you need to take less responsibility, only do half. Uh, like your fair share, not the other person's uh, uh, obligations too. So it's it's kind of a good card. It's about what I said with growing up, but it's also like being a scientist, figure things out, trying to, okay, uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to learn in this situation? Uh, and here we have a Prince of Pentacles. So some of you might be dealing with, with earth uh, signs. Um, some that might be a little bit um, scared or unstable or it just might be this with your stubbornness. You, you, also Aries is stubborn but uh, no one is as stubborn as the Taurus. <laughs> so um, it's um, it might be that you have your stubbornness as a shield uh, towards uh, other people. Uh, so uh, it doesn't hurt as much when you say well I didn't care about them anyway. Uh, so then you don't have to feel the uh, unsettling feelings of the relationship crashing or creative projects going to to the bottom uh, and you can kind of pretend that you never felt in a way that you actually f felt so for example I, oh well I, well I never it doesn't matter that they left me I didn't love them anyway uh, or uh, oh, it was my own uh, uh, it was my own intention to uh, to make the firm bankrupt because I had other plans for myself and I didn't want to continue with that business. So it can be it's a situation where we try to protect ourselves from our own emotions and also from other people to see them because they then they are even more clear and we have to feel them even more. So it's not the problem that other people sees that we are in pain. It's uh, when you, you notice it and they see it, then you really have to acknowledge it and, and you know, deal with it. And most people run away from uh, their uncomfortable uh, feelings. So it's a little bit wavy, a little bit stormy, and it's like they try to keep balance. No, no, I, I don't feel this way f for real. So you need to um, investigate this, that maybe your stubbornness is a very good quality to help you survive, but it can also make you blind for the things that you uh, need to address inside yourself. Um, entities, uh, archetypes inside of you that needs to have your loving attention. And when you just pretend like they don't feel the way they feel, uh, you kind of ignore them and don't call the ambulance if they are traumatized. So it's not particularly nice towards yourself to do that. So you need to be even more self-loving and uh, don't shield yourself so much. Some of you are dealing with a person that's very shy and scared. Uh, uh, okay, they might have also the... Um, the feeling that they are right about everything and this is how they protect themselves and this might be you as well of course uh, protect themselves like I'm always right uh, and that's a way to not have to deal with new things like with the alchemist so if we never take in anyone else's ideas we don't have to um, embrace the new and we might be really scared of change or new things when we are scared of um, for example, spiders or snakes, we are usually scared of our destiny and change. Uh, so it can also come as symbols. So you might need to want to look into that. But it's it's like a, a little bit of childish uh, position to put oneself in. Uh, a stubborn childish position to avoid something that we are afraid of. So it's kind of this, okay. So it can be an outside person acting like this. But everything you have on the outside is also something that's mirrored from what you have in the inside. Uh, so uh, here we have the four of cups. So it's this kind of situation. 
uh, when we love something or we would we dream about something but we don't really act uh, towards creating it we just um, uh, we just accept uh, kind of what is which is a good thing uh, if we really stay with our feelings that might be a, a great release uh, if this person were in meditation position instead um, but um, here it's more like um, uh, it's no use I won't invest in a situation that will lead to uh, bad things anyway and uh, that can be uh, like a good position uh, if you don't want to do the same thing over and over because you don't want to um, waste a lot of time in being like disillusioned <laughs> with that if you do the same thing over and over the same you will have different results so that might be a good thing but it it can also be a kind of avoidance uh, you don't want to feel the uncomfortable feeling so you don't want to put yourself in in situation so it's like an offer here someone has come and, and put a cup here maybe sent you a message or the divine has presented you with a certain situation and you like nah i don't want it it's i know how it's going to end anyway i have tried it so many times before and it has always ended the same way and the divine kind of wants you to find new ways to do it, things in this situation so they want you to take the gift but act in another way this time every time and try another thing okay but you are kind of giving up on the whole thing instead uh, and here we have the high priestess so that's uh, probably another part of you that's more on board you know exactly what it is that are asked of you in your subconscious you know but um, you kind of don't want to go down that road um, the high priestess can also be very stubborn she um, she knows a lot of things and uh, it might just be some some kind of big no inside of her because you know the two uh, is connected to the two of wands that we saw also to the justice card that i talked about 11 one plus one two uh, so uh, it might be some sense of justice or uh, it's i feel like a grumpiness i want um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I know what you want me to do, but I'm not going to do it. So that's that. And it's. I feel very calm with it. So uh, <laughs> that might be your new way of doing things. So I'm not going to talk you out of it. Uh, just trust your own intuition. Even if it takes more time to solve a thing, an issue, a karma, uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, you have a lot of time. On your disposal and here we have a five of cups so four of cups five of cups your intuition says to you that um, the situation that you were in here in the past it might be in the now also I'm doing this reading the 17th of May so um, for some of you this is happening now so you are in a situation where you have a very clear uh, intuition and you kind of don't want to take the offers of a situation or continue with the situation where you have invested a lot of emotions because you think that it will go uh, south anyway okay see the three cups being spilled the holy trinity uh, and here is one cup offered two cups offered <laughs> so it's like the divine is kind of increasing the bidding here but if you get this as well won't you take it then no <laughs> probably not uh, so it's rather sweet um three of uh, cups is um, overflowing emotion is this kind of relationships or situation that ignites your soul and when we lose those situations we can be a little bit grumpy and feel like there's no use so it's fine we need to go through this process and take the time that we need to um, to find our footing again uh, and here we have a three of wands so it's some kind of negotiation i'm thinking you are negotiating with spirits i'm thinking you are negotiating about what you can tolerate what you can accept in challenges and not you also have a very clear idea of what it is that you want to have and you don't want to compromise about that so I'm thinking it's a good thing. Uh, Aries are strong and you're strong for a reason. You're not strong so you can become um, like give your strength up. It's not you are if you are strong, you're supposed to be strong. <laughs> so um, you are fine in the way you are. So use your strength here to negotiate with the divine. And here we have a four of pentacles. So it seems like you have uh, your shields up. <laughs> OK, so. Um, 
you are in a very protective uh, phase but I'm, I'm feeling it's starting with the fours and with the four four are connected to uh, the emperor or the lord in this deck and it's you Aries so I'm thinking you're using your uh, special personal Aries power to steer the ship in this uh, situation here uh, you don't want to be um, you don't want to be uh, in a situation that disappoints you you know exactly what you want if that situation comes you're ready to take it with the three of wands but uh, as long as that situation isn't presented you are not going to say yes you are not going to uh, jump on board on the new ship <laughs> so I'm thinking you are doing fine it's a uh, 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 it's a good thing it um, it's very typical you and um, the hangman it's also a situation where we kind of um, uh, we hang uh, nothing is really like nothing new is really presented and we hang like this and it's um, uh, it's like it's a rest for your soul but in the same time it's a it's like a little bit of a trial for your soul to be in this position of being a little bit grumpy and saying no when uh, and feeling that the world is out to get you it's actually going to lead to some kind of uh, eureka moment is what i'm feeling so just go trust yourself if you feel like uh, you don't want to engage you don't engage uh, if uh, the situation has changed more to your liking then we can you can renegotiate with the spirits or with the people that surround you but you have been it's like someone tried to uh, turn off your light or dim your light or um, maybe try to make you feel like you weren't good enough or something like that and you don't want to be treated like that so it's good that you did that you reacted in this way and but here we have a ten of wands <clears throat> so ten of wands is an increasing in the energy it's like the divine is sending uh, energy inside of you so it might make you very restless and um, probably they want to it's like they put um, <laughs> like this fire um, it's you can you can shoot out fire with it i don't know the it's not fire extinguisher that's the opposite this is another it's a tool you can i can see i have seen it people using it in horrific wars as well but in other case you kind of use it to uh, to mold metal okay and it's someone they have put it in your behind to make you do something okay so you're a little bit pressured by the divine everyone here is like a soul ignition so you might feel like this racehorse in the living room again you are made like a living room for you here where you are not uh, ecstatic or uh, overly happy but it's like you have retracted to a position where you feel okay uh, but um, the divine wants to take you out of this square position and, and make you do something so they are increasing the stakes uh, and putting a little bit heat on you <laughs> ten of swords you really don't want to do it so you just okay so if you're going to make me feel like this then i'm going to give up totally so <laughs> it's it's a funny energy because it's um, almost like a uh, little child maybe being forced to do something in school that they don't really feel is like up their alley or the thing that they are happy with doing so they then they skip school or or put themselves on the floor and refuse to move and uh, so it's um, I'm thinking um, it might be a double test here <laughs> so uh, the energy that comes down is uh, annoying you uh, but it might be that this reaction what comes from you is exactly what the divine wants you to see that this is actually a power that you have um, to be very uh, aligned with yourself and, and when you are disaligned with yourself a, a kid like that uh, like one kid 10 kids like that maybe in a school might change the whole school and make them work in a different way uh, to um, meet the needs of that particular child so it might be that you're changing the rules a little bit here for how things are supposed to be done uh, and that's your superpower Aries because you are a, a bringer of seeds and you are supposed to be a, like a changing element because of your very stubborn fire uh, so and here we have a prince of cups you just want a better offer like work with me instead of against me 
if you work with me and kind of give me what I want and what's uh, what I dream of, then I will I will go with you. But if you give me tainted offerings or bad things, I'm not going to go with it. So you are waiting for the right offer or the right. Um, I have been talking a lot about f what's happening on 5D, like with your soul, but uh, on an earth level, it can be s some other kind of offering, like a person maybe wants to reunite with you, but you are not up for it. You you are, have closed the shop here because you remember what they did to you in the past and and you are not going to do that stupid thing again. But if they come and they kind of don't give up on you or maybe try again and again and again and increase their offer, maybe you would accept the reconciliation uh, eventually. It can be the same thing when it comes to career or uh, your project or your family that you are not going to engage until it's, there's a better offer. You, you rather sink with this, this ship than to, than to go with, uh, with a, a phony offer. So, ah, oh, okay. So I, I go down with this ship. It's a, it's a song also, but I'm not uh, exactly if it's for you. Um, it might because this song is more about a person that um, acknowledged that they have done something wrong, and the relationship ended. But they are not going to try to find a new person. Uh, or a new dream, they are going to go down with this ship. <laughs> but I'm not feeling exactly that with you, Aries, because it's more like uh, you rather be alone than or fix things for yourself than take stupid offerings from situation that you uh, know is going to go south. Okay. And here we have the Three of Cups, and it comes underneath the Three of Wands. You remember the spilled uh, Three of Cups in these uh, pictures? here spilled and here they are not spilled so you want real love you want the real thing the real deal you don't want a tainted situation or a situation that you with your own wisdom is no is doomed from day one so uh, you want real connection real commitment real like the real dream and it's three three so it's connected to the Empress and the Hangman 12. So you're, I think you're holding off for the right uh, situation, the right offering, the right lover, uh, the right of something. Uh, and when you, you will know it when you see it. When the right offering comes, you will know immediately and you will take it. But as long as the offerings are tainted, you rather live in uh, <laughs> aloneness and, uh, you know, uh, with a little bit of grumpiness until the right uh, offer is coming. So I'm thinking you are changing the perspective of work and love here, that it needs to be something that you can actually accept. Uh, and here we have the high priest. So it's number five and number five uh, is also connected as the alchemist card that we have here. So it's rather interesting because you have four, four there. And here is uh, 14, one plus four, five. <laughs> so... Um, this is the library and this is the scientist the write the books that end up in the library. So this is your life experience and things, adventures that happening to you. And this is uh, where uh, those life experiences end up. It's like a uh, human uh, being's memory, but it's not like the Akasha Chronicles. That's with the high priestess, we can see her book of knowledge here. It's more like uh, how we do things in everyday life. Uh, for example, uh, the certain kind of culture we live in and uh, what's allowed for different people, like what you are allowed to do and not, and the traditions. And it can also be a place of authority. It can be a place of society. Uh, this is more a place of like inside of you, your inside universe and the connection with the divine. Uh, here it's about the outside universe, how you're dealing with other people, um, how you're meeting with them. So uh, this card can be about marriages, commitments, uh, family, family situation. It can also be about powers and stubbornness because it's Taurus. And here you have the miser. <laughs> so you know, some person that have hidden their treasure in the tower. Um, and uh, so, um, um, I'm thinking it's like an ultimatum or you know exactly what you want and you are powerful enough to get it. And for many of you, uh, I'm feeling that it is uh, 
uh, you want better paid at your work, you want uh, a lover to, if they want to be with you, they need to fully respect you and engage in you uh, in a, a full way. Um, it's not so much about freedom here, the other counterpart. You already have your freedom. Uh, you, know, you want other people to share this freedom with you in a respectful and honorable way. So we have both the high priestess and the high priestess, um, high priestess, Yes, high priestess and the high priest in this reading. So if you are a couple, uh, it can be same sex or it can be siblings, it can be um, heterosexual love relationships, uh, but it's two people or two situations that uh, both are growing spiritually with what's happening between you. So it's for a greater cause, we can say. Uh, and... Um, it looks fine. It looks very, it looks good. Uh, sometimes with a high priestess and the four of pentacles, you can be with some kind of power junkie. But I am guess this is you, uh, Aries, <laughs> that you are very set on being very powerful in this situation. So, of course, we can go lost when we only listen to ourselves. But you actually have the ferals here. So you are ready to take in another person's uh, viewpoint. It's just that uh, you want your viewpoint to be listened to, too. OK, so not not uh, they need to not before they have listened. Will you accept the offer? So not before you have got your needs met. Will you go on with this? And when you get the right offer, it will be like nothing has happened. It's like family or uh, finally you can work together on incredible things. Uh, maybe manufacture something that will be of use for a lot of people or uh, coming together as a family or celebrating as a family or uh, building like a beautiful foundation for a family or culture or tradition for the future like this is how he's going to do it from now on and from for some of you it might be school since it came a lot about schooling and teaching and books and things like this so it can be different things um Okay, and this is uh, your future. This is um, probably May. This is first part of June, and this is uh, June, July, end of June, beginning of July. So, and here we have a nine of pentacles, and it comes underneath four of cups and ten of wands. So, I'm thinking even if the divine is putting a lot of stress on your system, so you feel uh, great longing or being very unsettled you're still you're able to deal with this energy so therefore you're becoming so utterly strong it's like the divine can't send you pain for example or longing to uh, trigger you into connecting with someone because uh, you are so very self-loving and stable right now so you would probably just sit with that energy and meditate on it uh, until it uh, dissolved and um, so it's very hard for the divine to push you into doing something from now on because you have become this strong and it's also comes with a lot of responsibility uh, when we become this powerful so uh, but I'm not going to scare you with that uh, if I see you are going down a bad road <laughs> in the future I will tell you but for now I, it's just this that you have learned to master these energies so uh, you're not going to be easily persuaded into some kind of honey trap anymore because love for example can be a honey trap also like jumping on board with something that's really going to be like a big big challenge and and now you are not so easily persuaded anymore because you have found this inner garden uh, this is um, virgo nine of pentacles also we had the queen of pentacles and the two of wands is kind of the wall outside of here or the four of wands for that matter so you are so much in self-love that no one can push you into doing anything that you don't want to do uh, and here we have Sir Nuno, so uh, the high priestess and Tenosaur. So the only way to get you to play the game is to tempt you, okay? They can't push you, uh, like whip you. Uh, they need to have a carrot in front of your nose to make you do something. So uh, they can still t uh, <laughs> like uh, trigger you by, um, yes luring you with something chocolate maybe or <laughs> something like this okay so passion is still your driving force this can be a capricorn but it's usually like something in your uh, shadow uh, we can also have addictions uh, smoking drinking uh, mobile phone um, like 
hysterical use or uh, something else. Uh, so there's still uh, a doorway for the divine to reach you and it's through temptation. And if they tempt you kind of with the right kind of thing, like the thing that you really want, then you are on board with something. But if you ever see it go south like this person or situation, it's the devil. So it's a shadow, it's ten of swords, it's the high priest. You are so sharp now. You are going to sacrifice this situation in a heartbeat uh, if it turns bad. So you are you super strong. And here we have the lady... So you are ready. <laughs> so what you have been hanging around, uh, waiting for, it come. It came to you, and now uh, your new future is being delivered. So uh, this, it was like you were under a siege and you didn't budge, <laughs> and and because you didn't budge, uh, the new you is now born. Uh, so it's very beautiful, and you have three, the lady, three of cups, and four of pentacles. So it's actually. You being able to protect yourself made this new thing uh, being brave enough to be born in this world because, okay, now I will come to you because you have proven that you will be able to protect me when I come. So this new thing might be something extraordinary. It might be a beautiful, beautiful idea. It might be the greatest love of your life. It might be a new archetype that wants to come to you, an archetype that you will have a good use of. It might be the feminine which archetype uh, so because you proved yourself worthy this energy now comes into your life and uh, so you need to keep up the good work to also keep this uh, uh, valuable resource uh, in your life and here we have the hermit so it comes underneath three of wands and three of cups and it's virgo again and we have it here nine of pentacles nine the hermit it's a little bit surprising uh, position uh, high priestess prince of cups the hermit okay so it feels like you're a little bit suspicious still about the offerings that comes through so you might need to want to um you know have uh, a little time for yourself to really feel if this is still what you want to do so it's a little bit like the energy is fading a little bit here uh, it might be that you are not fully trusting this uh, what is being presented even if it's presented in the exact way way, uh, way that you wanted it so you don't believe in it uh, with a hermit it's uh, uh, I walk alone and you have your wolf here and you, the wolf is a very social creature, but it can also go alone if it have to, if it have no uh, like flock here. This is um, your soul uh, group. If this soul group is not behaving, uh, you are, have no problem with walking alone. So it would be very hard to be in the love uh, relationship situation with you, Aries, because it's uh, like you are not bothered with anything. Uh, you... Uh, seem to not have that much consciousness right now and you just want like things in exactly the way you want them and in other case you are going to be gone with the wind uh, so I'm not envy of any lover towards an Aries right now uh, but for you personally this is a great leap of um, uh, spiritual growth uh, it might make you end up in a situation where you don't need so much stuff anymore or people or anything uh, you are kind of um, becoming very self-satisfied so it's almost here you have the hermit and this is kind of the buddha figure uh, so it's um, enlightenment on a very high uh, level but it's also this um, might lead to <laughs> celibacy and you know um, it's just uh, a Buddha is uh, someone that's a little bit uh, self-oriented. They just just sit there and shine. They don't really have like a, 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 a like not a family to to. It's like the the dynasty ends with them uh, in some some way. That might not be how these uh, Buddha-like creature are going to be in the future. Maybe they will be able to be in love relationships, but most of them can only keep their enlightenment when they are alone so maybe you as soon as you are with people uh, you after that you need to a lot of alone time um, so uh, queen of swords yes uh, you become like uh, uh, an oracle <laughs> uh, that just sits on a cliff somewhere and being able to um, spit out truths and um, 
you know, seeing things from above. So problem solvings and things like that. But uh, where's your social life? That's what I'm asking. Where's the people that you would die for or be loyal to towards the end? OK, some of you might be dealing with uh, a queen of swords that's already like that. It's like they can't really be in a relationship. They They endure being with you for a little while and then they are gone. But they are just showing you something that you already have inside of you and that you might need to develop more uh, to go on the next level of the spiritual journey. But it seems, frankly, a little bit boring. So why would you want to grow into this spiritual level if you're going to just sit on a rock somewhere and meditate all day? It's funny to have inside, um, inside uh, adventures, but... The outside adventures, they are worth a lot too. So be careful to be too much a loner and too much st very stubborn. So no one will want to be with you. Um, a person like this, that's this strong, and might become spoiled by their surrounding. Because the only time they will engage with doing something if if people do it their way. And that then eventually they might, well, we don't invite that person. Because they want everything in such a, a very extraordinary way it will be a too much a burden so maybe um, having too high a demands might make you a pariah socially okay so now i said it <laughs> prince of pentacles uh, okay so the prince of pentacles has a lot of opportunities like they are supposed to build a dynasty like a family of their own they are ready to when they find the right right um posture or um, they will be able to put their seeds down when they find the right circumstances but these two they are not they don't want to put any seed down uh, they are they are happy on their own just meditating on a cliff somewhere or in a cave so you're becoming a full-blown hermit buddha and with no social life you have the opportunity of social life but it's like you have become very square and it's what someone enlightened person said <laughs> uh, if you think you're so enlightened go and spend a week with your parents so I'm thinking that maybe you can only find peace and quiet when you are alone uh, and you need to also be able to be this in peace also when you are up against other people that have another opinion than do you and want things in another way that do you you need to be able to compromise a little bit um, because I don't think that this will be the end goal of happiness to sit somewhere and, and be enlightened all on your own and as soon as you are with people they are annoying you okay so my dear uh, Aries I will read the center card for you that's the most important card of of the spread because it's uh, talking about um it's it's talking about uh, something that's on the agenda very clearly uh, for you right now that's kind of the most important thing and you have two princes so princes uh, uh, two knights there and there and it's the feminine knights so it's something like um, a gift or something that can grow very prosper so prince of cups uh, the prince is the grail knight an idealistic dreamer who likes nothing better uh, then the quest for love and beauty. So that's a little bit more lifelike, okay? Princes of, Cu Princes of Cups are often caring, sensitive, gentle, artistic souls who are keenly aware of the spiritual world and who want to find their mission in life. They are usually good at dealing with people and find it easy to empathize and thus make good counselors and therapists. You, you or someone you know may be following their heart and their romantic dreams and the challenge is to avoid the pitfalls of illusions and glamour. It is also hard to act when so much of your attention is in the world of dreams and so you may be experiencing a conflict between what you feel in your heart and your need uh, to take action in the world. Drawing this card in a reading may indicate that you are inviting others to a social or artistic event or are offering you your help to others. Alternatively, it may suggest an impending journey over water. And it can also be, as I said, someone offering a, a gift towards you and an opportunity. Okay, so I'm thinking this what's being born here is this kind of Buddha uh, creature. So what, what am I to say? 
if you are supposed to become like this, it's fine. It's just me. Maybe that's a little bit more romantic. <laughs> don't want you to have that kind of life, but it's really up to you. Okay, so I will take a card for you, Aries. Um, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, ref I didn't want to take it and then it jumped instead. So um, it came too fast. So I wanted to shuffle a little bit. Um, bring it into form. Uh, it's two other signs that I got this. Um, maybe Pisces and well, some 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 other. Um, Forty one. And the Prince of Cups is actually Pisces. So some of you might be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have a lot of Virgo here, and uh, this is also Pisces, Pisces, and then Virgo. Libra, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, Venus, <laughs> Sagittarius, okay, Uranus we have there, so Uranus and uh, where would, yeah, Taurus, that happened a few days ago but has been the prominent energy for quite some time now. Uh, beautiful dreamer, you can imagine wonderful worlds of light, a dream, that was the Prince of Cups as well. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now it's a time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live to manifest. So this is being brought into the world. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. Get uh, the two die desk, they, die easel, die computer, work, beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream, create. You are being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will help you to grow and that is a wonderful reason to commit. Commitment, the high priest, high priest sorry. Uh, but there is another reason too. You know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical form so that other people can access them and experience something special too. No, it wasn't Pisces that got this. They got another card. Maybe it was Libra or Virgo. <laughs> so don't mind me. Uh, if you have been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture or acting on an inspiration or an idea, maybe you're going to start an ashram. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, do it now. Uh, <laughs> this oracle is bringing you an unavocal yes. Don't dally or ditter about the details or worry about how it's all going to work out. The universe loves a bold spirit. Once you take a step, it will rush towards you like an enthusiastic and chivalrous lover. Opening doors, hand gently guiding at your lover back as you move forward. You will promptly be provided with all that you need. That is in need to take the next step. Uh, there is a sacrifice inherent in translating the perfection of an idea into limited physical form. The hangman, you know, sacrifice. Uh, although something may be lost when turning a multidimensional concept of endless potential into something concrete, this oracle guides you to realize that there is much to be gained. You must become free of the inspiration so that you can receive your next inspiration. It's already waiting for you. So on you must go. So it can also be this, that your idea of love, for example, might be so idealistic that whatever is offered here on the earth is not going to roll with you. You just say no. Uh, and uh, you might have so high expectations of yourself and your doings that you um, you are not happy with whatever is being created because it was not exactly like you wanted it. So you might have to lower your demands just a little bit uh, so you don't end up like Queen of Swords, dried up old prune, okay? Mm. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, this is how the Aquarius Gemini Libra is, it's just... You can see this on her. Um, she has so high demands that she's rather being alone on this mountain than lower herself to be amongst the humans. And, you know, she she was supposed to be a light for humans in the world, not a light somewhere on the mountain. The mountains are already enlightened. They don't need you. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, this oracle also confirms that the information you need to translate your ideas into form will be provided according to the higher wisdom of life. It may or may not happen by traditional routes, even if it seems unimaginable. When it is time for something to be born into form, nothing can stop it. It will happen. 
If you have uh, also drawn the Oracle of sac the Sacred Fool, feel assured that your path success is nothing, uh, not going to unfold accordingly to the usual rules or re regulations. You actually got the full card, so um, maybe you're supposed to. What I said, it's like you're bringing in something totally new, that, and it's your job to do it. So um, you are supposed to trust yourself, but just watch out uh, so you don't become too like too high demands, too uh, too stubborn or too isolated. Okay. So, uh, so this is your reading, uh, you can see it. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, watching, liking and subscribing to my videos. I want you to take really, really good care. And I welcome you back to my mid-June reading that I will perform in the beginning of June. Okay, bye-bye.